I said when we worship, something must give. You want God to set ambushment on your cancer, on that disease, on that malaria? This is what you have to learn to do. But you see, there's something I must clarify to you. It's not in all cases that, that worship is relevant for victory. The most powerful tool for victory for a child of God is called the counsel of the Lord. If you notice carefully, in this particular instance, it was the counsel to worship the God. In another scenario, like David, it wasn't some God as to say. That means the strategies of God are not generic. They are situation specific. It will be very uninformed of you to have a battle and say because Jehoshaphat's battle was won through worship. You want to win your own true worship. It doesn't work that way. Why? God's ways are not limited. They are unsearchable. So you can't put God in a box and say, let's, let's worship God. The God who fought for Jehoshaphat and, and well, in Judah, let's worship him and he will fight for us. But you see, that same God fought for David, but he wasn't worshipped. That same God fought for Samson, but he wasn't worshipped. Listen to God. The most, powerful, the most powerful prayer is the prayer of knowing God's will. That's where victory begins. And there are even some fights you will not even have to fight at all. You won't even need to sing at all. You won't even need to do anything at all. All you just have to do is to get a word from the Lord and do what you're told.